एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल टुडे आई वांट टू स्टार्ट दिस वीडियो बाय थैंकिंग ईच वन ऑफ यू हु वॉच आर वीडियोस टू टेक फ्यू मिनट्स आउट ऑफ वंस डेली लाइफ ऑल दो मे साउंड ईजी बट वी ऑल नो इट इज एंड एंड आई सी यू एंड एप्रिशिएट यू फॉर डूइंग इट नेवर डिलेस सो टुडे इज वीडियो इज फ्रॉम थस्कनी अ ब्यूटिफुल प्रोविंस इन इटली विच इज नोन फॉर इट्स picture perfect countryside dotted by gorgeous cypress trees they say what you seek is seeking you it must be true because the wallpaper on my phone has been a tuscan villa lined by cypress trees from quite some time now from even before we made any plans to visit this beautiful place actually the rush of adrenaline one feels when visiting a place they have never been before is unmatched to land in a new country is like becoming a child again you will have to learn everything from scratch how to order a coffee how to get a bus ticket how to ask for directions in a language foreign to you and every small thing you figure out on your own feels like a victory One lovely writer from the north eastern hills of India called Janice Perriot once shared something beautiful on her Instagram about how to travel lightly. Allow me to share it with you. She says, "Carry hope, positivity, excitement. These add up only to lightness. Also, a spirit of adventure. Lay out all you think you will need for your trip. Have it." except socks always slip in extra socks carry water fruit lip balm tell yourself that whenever you arrive is the right time and whatever kind of day you are given is the right kind of day for you be deliberate in your thoughts and actions treat your fellow passengers with kindness carry music in your ear pods and in your soul carry a book poetry openness pick up beautiful leaves and chocolate carry gifts of time affection and attention appreciate the journey others have made to meet you as much as you can take the train walk carry an umbrella an internal map smile at strangers look out for small miracles carry good manners and lightest of all in abundance carry joy isn't it such a beautiful thought Now coming back to our trip through Tuscany, we started our day early from Florence. The Tuscan region consists of many small and big Italian towns and villages. While some of the bigger towns like Siena are connected by train system with other big cities like Florence, it is not possible to access the smaller villages by train. And the real charm of this region actually lies in its countryside. After doing a lot of permutation and combination on how to see most of Tuscany on a day, we zeroed in on an Airbnb experience which had some of the best reviews. The experience was hosted by Michel, who picks you up from Florence in his own car and takes you to the beautiful little towns in and around the Tuscan region and drops you off in Florence in the evening. It was perfect for us. On this experience we were also joined by another couple from Mexico with whom we quickly became very good friends and this day was probably one of the most beautiful day of our entire trip. We bonded over Tuscan cheese and wine guided by Michel of course nothing like having a local to show you around his place. He took us to some hidden gems which we would have never discovered on our own and we are so grateful to him for that.
guys, Italian village in Tuscany. It's like a dream. It's like it's unreal. It's like a fairy tale. I I feel like I'm in a fairy tale. Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. Tuscany, also called Toscana in Italian, is the west central region in Italy and it lies along the Tyrrhenian and Ligurian seas and comprises of the provinces of Massa Carrara, Lucca, Pistoia, Prato, Firenze, Livorno, Pisa, Arezzo, Siena and Grosseto. Tuscany is one of the most prosperous agricultural regions in Italy, specializing in wheat, olives, olive oil and wines. Notably those of Chianti district near Siena, Tuscan wine and olive oil along with the cheese are known as the best across the world. The Tuscan countryside took our breath away and like the views weren't enough, it even started to snow, making everything look even more magical. What a lovely day! Cannot get better than this. Yes. Okay, best oil. What cheese is this? Pecorino cheese. Can I come? I'm loving this. Gracias. After that lovely Italian lunch, Michel took us to one of the many thermal springs which are found in the Tuscan region. The one where we went to is a smaller one but bigger thermal springs can also be found in and around the Tuscan region. Blue. Yes, it's the uh, it soul is, uh, mm. inside. The 
Medici. <laughs> we ended our beautiful day out in Toscana with some coffee at this beautiful cafe with our new friends Michel, Ali and Daniel. The beauty of travel lies in these small moments when people from India, Mexico and Italy share a meal together and realize we are not very different from each other when it comes to sharing and enjoying a meal and appreciating beauty around us. And with that, our beautiful day came to an end. It started to snow heavily on our way back to Florence. Tomorrow, we leave for Venice. Stay tuned and do subscribe to the channel and like this video. Ciao!